I want to have a little fun. I want to joke around. And who better do that with than Gina Phillips, our social media columnist and co correspondent. Thanks for being on the show. No problem, Ezra. I think you've been on the show once or twice, but it's great to have you back. Yes. Nice to see you. Never like this. Never <laughs> to talk about dirty titles. So oh, I'm very, excited. very excited. I, I needed a note from my parents before I could do this. Listen, yeah. what I did on Twitter last night is I said to the world of the Twitter sphere, come up with your best joke yeah. names for a CBC porn show that sort of tweaking an existing CBC show name, like Hickey Night in Canada instead of Hockey Night in Canada. <laughs> so that's not triple that's X rated, that's sort of PG rated. Yeah. It, so I put this out there, I'm using what's called a hashtag on Twitter, yep. called CBC Porn Titles. I know, but for our readers who might not. And there were literally hundreds of Canadians who got in on it, even one or two folks from the CBC. Can you believe that? Really? Well, that's I'm, hilarious. You know, I don't think everyone in the CBC <laughs> is exactly thrilled that uh, corporate resources are being put on this. Anyways, so I chose, using my own judgment, the yeah. top ten of them. Awesome. I'm going to whip through the first five, and then we're going to play uh, some video clips of maybe what the, the last five uh, are. Anyway, Great. So I'll just jump right in. Can't Here's wait. number ten. The, I mean, it's a countdown. The number ten best title for a CBC porn show... The passionate guy. What do you think of that? The passionate wow, guy. Wow, that's good. That actually sounds, passionate eye. That sounds very romantic, doesn't it? It does. Like, it doesn't even sound sexual. That sounds a little too romantic for the CBC. I'm sort of a passionate guy. <laughs> another one. Here's another one. Right? Number nine. Okay. Undergarments. With, with <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that She's one. She's got a show called Undercurrents. Undergarments, again, that doesn't sound too sexy. Like, if no. you had fancy lingerie, you wouldn't say undergarments. No, You'd say you lingerie. Wouldn't. That would ruin the mood, definitely. Yeah, so undergarments, that would be like, sort of go down to your yeah, knee and up that's there. like granny panties. Yeah, I don't even think yeah. Wendy Mansley would, would wear undergarments. She would wear lingerie. What? Sorry, oh. did I say that or think that? Did I just... I, did, did I say, say that? No comment. That? Okay. <laughs> uh, how about this one? Now, this one's getting a little bit too close to the child sexuality, but uh -huh. Mr. Undress Up. Ooh, what do you think of that? That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, Mr. Undress Up. It's a little, yeah. it, it's a little too easy. Like that just seems just adding you in <laughs> in front of. <laughs> but you can imagine, you know, a guy who keeps walking into places and just undressing. I don't know. Okay, here's another kids one. The two friendly giant. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> I mean, the friendly giant, but this that giant sounds is creepy. a little too friendly. I don't know. It's a little creepy. Okay. Number six. Now I've never watched the show Heartland, but there's uh -huh. Hardland. Hardland. Not too funny. I mean, we call a show Hard News Straight Talk, so, you know, Hardland. And they called it Hard, yeah. right? Their show, so. That's right, yeah. So maybe that's not even that funny. Anyway, yeah. those are, that's 10 to number 6. Okay. But now let's go through number 5 to number 1. And we've okay. got a little video clip that we'll show for each of them. We're going to show you the opening sequence of the show, the real-life CBC show uh, that, that the CBC has right now. And Gina, can you guess... I know I'm putting you on uh -oh. the spot. Can you guess what the porn version of these shows would be? So roll number five. This is the real show. Can you guess what the porn version would be? <laughs> what do you think? Okay. Do you have a guess? I had something even pop in my head right away. What? North of 69. You are so right. <laughs> you are so right. North of okay, 69. Okay, I'm glad I was right on because if I just said that for no reason. <laughs> You know what? You might come up with a new idea. This is actually sort of one of those purity tests. This is fun. I mean, if this is the right answer, Gina, for you would be to say, I have no idea. Yeah, uh, be, I've never heard of that, this word. <laughs> okay, here's another one. Here's the video. Then, Gina, you guess what the joke could be. Okay, here's another one. Number four. Here's a sign of strength. Mansbridge one on one. One on one kind of sounds dirty already, but well, I think Mansbridge <laughs> one on one is sort of dirty already. Mansbridge yeah. one on two isn't so bad either. <laughs> but one on good. one, I think I think I think Mansbridge one on one I could actually be a porn show title right there. I mean, yeah. Mansbridge itself is sort of uh, very descriptive. Yeah, yes. yeah. Who knows? Wow, I'd never thought of it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Here, roll roll number three and move forward a little bit on on the prompter, so I know what the answer is. What do you think of this one? Okay, that was Hockey oh, Night in Canada. Hockey now, there's Night so much you can do with this. What do you? What would your pornification of this CBC show be? Um, hockey Night in something else? Well, uh, you know what? Not, I, you know, I liked Hickey Night in Canada. Oh, yeah, that was a good because one. Because that, that's sort of like, uh, you know, that's not, too, that's not triple X-ray, that's sort of PG. There's also 
Hooker night in Canada. Hooker which night. One that, the, what, what I think is a winner. Or Hooker. hard night. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm asking you these questions, and I can't believe you're playing along with it. You're such a good sport. I can't believe I didn't prepare better for this. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm as unprepared as anyone. I, you know, the fact that I would read these at night shows that what my real social life is like. Yeah, okay. totally. Number two, roll the second best video clip of what CBC show could be turned into a sex show. Now, this is before your beach time. Combers. The Beach Combers. I, I, you don't have to say it. I thought of something, but I don't even know. Oh, you don't know have to I say it. You know what? Someone suggested that it should be called the Beachcombers. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I think it's a joke, but but who knows? I have no idea what those words mean, Ezra. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go with the number one name for a CBC show right, right now that they've invested in already that has such brand reputation. We're all paying they, for this. That's so this right. It could easily be converted to a CBC porn show for its yeah. code channel. Roll the clip. Things. With Saint Suzuki, what do you think he might be into? What do you think David Suzuki Ooh, might some be weird into? Oh, stuff for sure. <laughs> <laughs> How? Do you have a guess? The nudity of things. Yeah, well, that's a good one because naturist is another way of saying nudist. Well, here's what this uh, this person suggested on Twitter: yeah. the nature of thongs. That's you know, it's good. not it's not very triple X. You know, a thong <laughs> is a kind of underwear. David Suzuki in the thong, do though. Do you think he'd wear it? Yeah. That would be triple X rated. Gina, I'm you, are, the image in my you head. are such a good sport for sitting through this without storming oh. off the set. But that look, we didn't make this up. The no, CBC really does not. have hard, I mean, I don't know. They're, people are calling it softcore porn. It looks pretty hardcore to me on their, on their French uh, website. I can't believe 16-year-olds can watch that. I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Right. You know, the nature of thongs is nothing compared to what they're really That's doing. That's my favorite. That's Thanks cool. for being such a good sport. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Ezra. Hey.